This is Dream, an adventure RPG that began development on the Super Nintendo. Now, looking at the graphics and design, can you guess who made it? Who was the developer? Yes, that's right, Rare LTD. It pretty much looks as if Donkey Kong Country was an action-adventure title. Now, it didn't stay on the Super Nintendo for long. Once the game transitioned over to the N64, it became a more complex 3D RPG involving pirates, but it got stuck developmentally. Here you see lush environments, but not a ton to interact with. And at least in the footage Rare has shown us, not much to do. Oddly, the game eventually evolved into Banjo-Kazooie, which started off as a 2.5D platformer before becoming the 3D collectathon platformer that we all know and adore. And that's most of the footage we've seen of Dream 64, except for this wonderful opening nugget from Tim Stamper's Twitter slash X account. So it's true then. The Nintendo 64 treasure does exist after all. <laughs> it's mine all mine. And that leaves us to today, remaking Dream 64. The demo I'm showcasing was created by Polysoft, the same team that's responsible for the excellent Earthbound 64 slash Mother 3 recreation, as well as a Zelda 64 recreation project, both of which I've shown on the channel. And if you're interested, I'll include links below and links in the cards above. Now, this is rudimentary. There's little collision, no sound effects, just music. But you can explore and poke around this island. They did an excellent job of recreating the feel. It's relatively vibrant, though not quite as much as the original, and they've included many of the landmarks you saw in the Rare Revealed YouTube footage. There are also storyboards from Rare of the opening sequence that Polysoft is hoping to recreate. Overall though, unlike Earthbound 64, there's a lot less to go off of here. We have Mother 3 on the GBA and a reasonable number of interviews, documentation, and media from the Earthbound 64 era. With that project, one could reasonably flesh out an entire game experience, or at least a few chapters. Here, I'm not so sure. We don't really know what this game was supposed to be doing, and according to interviews, neither did the devs, hence the whole thing falling apart and evolving so aggressively. Obviously, there's more to it than Rare has shown off, but anything beyond what you see here is mostly going into the realm of fan fiction, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, I just think it's going to be difficult. Perhaps a more fleshed out demo would be the final step, but we will see what Polysoft has up their sleeves. By the way, it took me forever to find this treasure chest. <laughs> I knew it existed, uh, but I just had to keep poking around for it. Here is a good comparison shot. See how in the demo it's a little different distance-wise between the cliff and the background. In addition to the rare reveal of the footage being a little bit more fleshed out with vegetation and such. Still close though, especially considering this is a work in progress. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments below, and you can check out the link to the demo in the description as well if you want to play Dream 64, or at least the Dream 64 recreation project. And of course, thank you to everyone for watching, and thank you to our subscribers and Patreon supporters. If you haven't already, please subscribe. We're hoping to hit our 100k mark for subs by the end of the year, and your support would be appreciated. Thanks again, and hope to see you all back for the next one. Together.